President Obama's national security advisor, Susan Rice, unmasking the names of Trump transition officials who were caught up in surveillance, that is, revealing the names. A source close to Rice making this statement to CNN early this morning. The idea that Ambassador Rice improperly sought the identities of Americans is false. There is nothing unusual about making these requests when serving as a senior national security official, whether Democrat or Republican. All rise, Napolitano is here. Okay, I got it. As national security advisor, you can ask for those names. Nothing wrong with that at all. Only under certain circumstances. So if an American is incidentally or intentionally surveilled, that name is kept secret. And if it is necessary to understand a conversation, to find out who the other conversant is. Let's say General Flynn and the uh, uh, Russian ambassador. The White House only gets words. It says American number one, Russian ambassador. American number one, Russian ambassador. If they need to know who American number one is in order to understand the conversation, they can unmask for that limited purpose. Okay. They cannot unmask for any other purpose, political, curiosity, revenge, embarrassment. Second, if the conversation is not about national security and it's incidentally caught up, they can't unmask for any purpose. Ah. The unmasking okay. constitutes, the improper unmasking constitutes espionage. Why espionage? Because the identity of an American caught up in foreign surveillance is protected by top secret uh, category. This is the same category that Hillary Clinton probably violated by putting top secret information in a non secure venue in her home brewed email server. See, this is the legalistic weeds, which I do my Actually, best to say out. I on. know, but it's important but, because the FBI should handle this, and the FBI yes. should investigate whether or not Mrs. Rice committed espionage by improperly unmasking the names of Americans. You see, she only had such a lawyer. She it's only so had one boss. <laughs> Who would she go and say, hey, guess what Donald Trump and Paul Manafort were talking about the night before he gave his acceptance speech in Cleveland? I understand. Espionage. See, that's what I'm interested in. Yes. The politics of this. Correct. The dirty tricks. Correct. I mean, that's dirty tricks in the extreme. Absolutely. That is deliberately undermining the incoming president who legitimately won the election. Absolutely. And, of course... We, as, as you pointed out earlier today, where not only where is the media, where is the Democrats? Everybody should be outraged that this was going on. Can you imagine if George W. Bush and Condoleezza Rice had spied on?